Now that we've learned how to add and replace timelines on the state machine, let's look at a way that we can play multiple timelines at the same time. In the last video, we created two animations. The first one moves the red square back and forth, and the second one moves the blue square back and forth. Up until this point, we've looked at playing a single animation at a time. Now, there will be times where you'll want to have two different animations playing or two different interactions on a single artboard. In this case, we'll want to use state machine layers. By default, every state machine comes with a single layer. You can see that in this case, we have layer one, but we can rename it if we want by double clicking on it, and we'll call this one red square. Now, if we play the state machine, you'll see that the red square animation is playing. Now, if we want to have the blue square moving at the same time, we'll need to add an additional layer. And we can do that using the plus button here. You can see that when we hit the new tab, we now have layer two. To keep things organized, let's go ahead and rename this layer to blue square. Now we can take our timeline two, drop it onto the graph, and then create a transition between entry and timeline two. Now, if we review the state machine, we have one layer that's gonna play our red square animation and another that's gonna play our blue square animation. If we test out the state machine, you'll see that both squares are animating at the same time. Now you can see as we hop back and forth between our layers, you can see that progress bar moving, showing us that both animations are playing. Now in this example, we only created two layers, but if we needed, we could create as many as we'd like. There's many different uses for layers. For example, we can think about layers as a way to split up parts of our animation onto different layers in the state machine. So for example, we can have our looping layer here that has the general movement of the character. It moves up and down, the hat bounces. And then on an additional layer, we can add in some additional effects, such as a little bit of a blink um, and other things like that that we could mix in. Then we could take those animations and put them onto our state machine on different layers, and you can see how those animations are actually mixing together.